game. All right, this is the crossover brought to you by California Academy of Sciences. Well, we think it is. Every visit supports the Academy's mission to regenerate the natural world. Learn more and reserve your ticket at calacademy.org. Uh, Willard and Dibs are either coming. It's kind of rude, huh? Eh, not really. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, looks like they oh, got food. Oh, my goodness. No, I can't have any. What? Wow, look at that pie. Where's that from? Good Lord. We're celebrating the return of Live 105. Oh, yeah. yeah where's we there's doing? plenty. I left it outside. Plenty. <laughs> there's plenty where this came water. from. You didn't want to bring it in. There's plenty, yeah. Oh, there's yeah, tons I left. I can't have it. No, there's go, tons go, left. go get one and then bring me yours. Okay, okay well, yeah. I'll do that. That's true. Ted, 10.53 this morning, uh, I think Dave Radio went back to... Yeah. Live 105. Look at that. 105 correct. Correct. Oh, Look at that pizza, that YouTube. Them. Look at that. Is that a good-looking slice wow. or what? Nice. Huh? And I was That's just torture. I was just saying that Dave, <laughs> and I love Dave. Yeah. Dave was like the neighbor. It's like, Dave, I, I, I don't even remember you moving in. I mean, you were quiet. Oh. Dave, <laughs> Dave was cool. He was a good neighbor. Yeah. Dave was great, but... Live 105 is back, baby. Like that too. Yeah, yeah, back with a slice. I back with do. sausage and pepper. I, I mean, can't get over that but here's, pie. But here's the it thing about oh, here's the thing good. about Live 105. Live 105 is proven. Trey Lance isn't. Oh, so here we you go. can go. You can wow. give the station give back to Live trend. 105. That was a great transition. <laughs> but that was really good. That was Lance. good. That was good. Don't yeah. ever let anyone tell you you're yeah. not a regular radio host. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that was amazing. Traditional, yeah, whatever. whatever the hell they called them. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. How y'all being? Doing good, Goo. Doing. I, I just want to say real quick. Stop uh, bragging on you. Uh, the pictures you posted, it hit me in the cardiac muscle with uh, your niece and your daughter. Yeah. Graduation yeah. season. Yeah. You are poolside. You had a DJ. Yeah. It looked like it. And I <laughs> sunglasses on, of course. It looked like you were having a good time. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's graduation season for yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was a... Uh, uh, I, the uh, young man <laughs> singing song, right? <laughs> Dude, yeah. Because, yeah. That's my, uh, he's blind, but yeah. he just graduated, Gabriel, my nephew, and uh, he's rapping, graduated yeah. high school, but he can, his senses are like Spider-Man, so what do they call that, Dibs? He ain't all 100% Spidey blind. Spidey senses. But, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> Dibs yeah. Senses. Sure, sure. So he's but, yeah. able to see? But the song, yeah, the, it's more of a feel, if that makes any sense, right. man. Let yeah. me stop while I'm ahead. Well, yeah. But yeah, very, there are um, yeah. varying uh, levels of vision impairment. That's, so okay. there is complete blindness where all you see is complete darkness, yeah. and then there is visual visual impairment where you can see colors and yeah. lights and different infractions. And I think that that's what yeah, right. maybe Stevie Wonder has, yeah. or yeah. I can't speak to his vision. But Ray Charles, th I've had there are levels to right. visual impairment. I've that's had all. it after about nine fireball shots. Yeah. That happens too. I've yeah. seen it. Uh, I've seen know. it. Shout Dibs, out Salt Lake. Dibs has had so many things go wrong with his body. He can oh. answer every health related question. It doesn't matter. Or maybe just maybe like you just act. Answer, maybe you just like act like I you know. Say I, don't, that. You I don't, don't know what it, it is. I don't know what it Again, is. Again, and I, I hate to bring my own personal things yeah, oh up uh, because. Uh, no, you don't. My, um, I, I don't obviously <laughs> no, hate it because don't. I'm about to do it. But <laughs> the whole like, prove me wrong. So this morning. We're feeding my baby. I'm feeding the baby breakfast okay. because I'm on breakfast. Shout out, Myla. And we're doing the breakfast, and we get about two-thirds of the way through, and I start letting her hold the spoon. Okay. She's nine months old. And my <laughs> wife comes down, and she says, don't do that. She can't do that. I said, babe, this is about the time where she's going to be ready to yeah. spoon her own food. And she goes, oh, because I'm always pushing this baby. I'm like, baby, you need to this, you need to that. And she'll cry, and the wife will be like, Wait, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm trying to push her to greatness, to the highest heights, gotcha. you know? And so I Googled it, and babies can start to feed themselves with a utensil between 10 and 12 months. Hmm. So I'm only a month early. And you're oh, at yeah. yeah. She's at nine and change. I'm, Just still, sure that I'm I, still feeding my 16-year-old <laughs> daily <laughs> by, <laughs> by spoon. So yes. uh, that's yes. the way I parent. But, um, yeah, we'll get there. No, so sure yeah, yeah. Sean. it's... No, if, if you're going to yeah, teach her she's in sense. rubber spoon only silicone. Like, yeah, my boy. But yeah, and she's all, I mean, her accuracy is, I mean, to bring it back to Trey Lance. <laughs> she, <laughs> that, she, her accuracy is Trey Lancey, and yeah. she's about yeah. two out of every five that's accurate. Yeah. She's trying to spoon feed peas in yeah. her eyes. Before I get to watch <laughs> Trey Lance, she didn't, like no, didn't like that one. No, I didn't like that one. Dude, she's got opium on her forehead. I'm never that guy where you're like, he's Cap or Alex Smith. No, I 
ain't, I ain't, I'm not even doing that here. But before I get to my take, yep. where were you golfing yesterday? Dude, that scenery was like. Oh, that wasn't me golfing. We were just spectating. We were what do watching. you mean? That was a tournament for my son. And, and, and I want to give a shout out. The first person I want to give a shout out to, even though I know he's not listening, my nine-year-old son who got out of bed at 645 wow. against his will. No, no, no. Like, oh, against his will. Just to come Pop-tarts with. tarts were involved. No, he comes with. And I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. Totally. you're walking 18 holes. You're not playing. And he did it You're for just his watching your big brother. That's it. That's dope. And, and the trade-off was bring me to Noah's Bagels on the way. Get me a Gatorade at the turn. And you got a deal. And wow. actually, he, he didn't even say that. I just offered oh, it. Right. I'm like, sure. Noah's on the way. Gator into so the turn. He's like, I'll go get some clothes on. Let's go. How and did so, your boy do? Uh, he did great. I think he finished in 12th place. And there were more than 13 yeah. people in the tournament. Okay. So it was good. Yeah, like, okay. yeah. He, he was in the top cool. half That's for great. sure. He did, Yeah, he, he did great. And four of the six players at Tam High were all in this tournament. And right like... Back to back, so they all played. It would, uh, man, that's fun. So much that's fun. fun. What, what the like course? Yeah. Loaded. Oh, the course was. Yeah, um, right. Where would we They're go? Foxtail. No, Fox. Foxtail in Roner Park. North uh, or Roner South? Park. Was it? Uh, they played North. They did play the North. Well, the North. Well, the South is a dog track. The North is actually a <laughs> high quality course. A yeah, dog. Yeah. 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 it's a dog track. They played. The, yeah, it's they, a dog track. Played, it was a nice course. Yeah, and first time I'd been there. Uh, he's played there. No, it's a beautiful course. Yeah, it's the North is really nice, high quality. And you know today's maybe the biggest day in golf on the calendar among professionals because t- today is U.S. Open final qualifying day. That's right. So your guy, remember Michael Block? Yeah, the F- yeah. Oh, hey, Michael yeah, Block is in final qualifying. I think he's in Columbus, Ohio, and he's not going to qualify. But he is one oh. of maybe seven hundred golfers today it's with so, the dream. It's so hard. Today's the last of the last. Yeah, and there are so I think hard. fifteen qualifying tournaments around the country and. And the uh, Great Britain as well. Have you ever been to any of these? Like the last round, I, I had a no, buddy. I had, no. a, I had a buddy who made it. He was same thing. He was head pro. Yep, head pro at a course in Nevada, and uh, went out there. And each stage, it's like there'll be fifty to seventy people, and it's like the four spots or something American like that. American Idol type stuff. Totally. Yeah, exactly. At each, at each exactly. stage, and, and the last stage is like the third or fourth stage. So he had this great round, shot 67 somewhere, and all of a sudden he's like, hey, made the second round. And then boom, Look at he's it. like, dude, I made the final round. Then you show up for the final round, and that's when the rubber meets the road. Like, it's In different. Re- so like he, block- got, he got blown out <laughs> on the last – because, man, the nerves – yeah. it's just like going to the final round of a major. Like that, Right. So is, like, he, is he somewhere despondent, Michael? Because he just had no, his – No, 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 no. Oh, he's not, not, he was, no, he's not despondent. He had his his, his he's already life, lived his dream. Yeah, his he's life lived is, his dream. Oh, but okay, so for, he's still good. For oh, example, gosh, yeah. these tournaments, and there's like 15 of them, there's guys like uh, Michael Gilgich and Ted Potter Jr. These are guys who are pros, who have been pros for a long time, but they're not yet U.S. Open qualified, so they have to go through the same thing. Or you take a guy like, and I'll say Steiny because he's the best golfer in yeah. the room, uh, outside of Mark, who easy. never plays. Yes, in the easy. morning. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. Actually, <laughs> I think we're going to set something up. Okay, we have to. I'm actually talking to sales. Uh-oh, it's going to be yeah. it's going to be two different matches. There's going to be me and Steiny against garlic fries and, and you know, <laughs> baseball <laughs> guys. Me and Steiny in a team match against Willard and Chasky, you and Bonte, oh, no, no. head go. to head. <laughs> you and Bonte, Head to head. Steiny, what do you think about me and you against these two slappies? How do you like our chances? And we'll do we'll do best ball. He's shaking his which head. means best score on the whole. Because the thing about Steiny and me is I'm birdies and double bogeys. I'm all over the board. Steiny is very consistent, like oh, a Swiss watch. 85 this weekend. Yeah, I we saw that. At Spring Valley. I, I like saw, Spring Valley. What does that mean? Well, no, I don't know. Sure. Yeah, we sure. have a, we it's have like, a thread. It's like, shooting a, it's like, like going to Lincoln Park or something like nah, that. 6,000 yards. Okay. Well, so he enters your score. What's you can go check on no, no, no. We have oh. a We have a thread oh. on the WhatsApp. Oh, okay. It's the Cal Pacific thread. From about That's four sick. years ago. Okay. So everybody on this thread, and there's like 35 of us, anytime that you play, you do what's called a scene report. And then one of the people who you dope. play with chimes in and says, Steiny, actually, you're getting better at your scene <laughs> reports, and I want to thank you for that. Okay. Well, Appreciate your old scene, <laughs> right. his old scene report used to be, here's a picture of the scorecard. Right. 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 And yeah. the scene report is much more nuanced, if I can borrow your word, than just the scores. It's like, 
oh, this guy slipped and fell on five. It was funny. And this guy had seven shots in a bunker. Oh, you should have seen it. So the scene report is much more nuanced. So I know what he shoots within moments after he shot it. Is it, it. sad, Willard, that we used to do that when I was clubbing my clubbing days? I wasn't. <laughs> oh, no, it's oh, not sad at all. It's not sad 11 at all. 11 o'clock hours, Nardy. What's the equivalent in the club <laughs> of a 102? Scene <laughs> report. Man. Yeah. I'm leaving. Target, <laughs> target rich environment. <laughs> send, Let me jump in here. Send water. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco. You know what it is. Stein it's an Odyssey still here. station. I didn't know. Yeah. Now, yeah. Here's the latest yeah. scene report. I don't know if you saw it, but yeah, our did, friend actually. Alex is playing in the public links, which is like an amateur version of a, of a big-time tournament. And our wow. other friend Dave is caddying. The scene report <laughs> has come in. Alex shot an adventurous 87 that included a pair of eights and an amazing eagle on our last hole. All Poppy right, Hills, though. Go. Poppy Hills. Poppy, oh, Poppy Hills. Hills. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. That's beautiful. No picnic. So. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah. And that's the beauty of like these apps and the phone is you get these uh, real-time reports, you know. Gotcha. I got. I wish I could stay to three, but I can't. Yes, <laughs> you, yes, you, can. I can. yes you can. Yes, you can. No. <laughs> you can. But you listen. can, but you, apparently you can't. So I got to be honest. When the Giants got back off of this last road trip, I was mm-hmm. like, and I kept telling Steiny, the beauty of baseball is we think we know you don't know. Things can st- happen, Schmidt, Bailey. So I, I'm not taking anything away from the Giants. But I will say I was excited, and I'm watching the youth. I'm seeing it like, uh-oh, where you would all not, and I ran this by Stani, where you'd all shocked that Far- Farhan said we're going to be aggressive when really you won't know into a month. If you're going to be a yeah. grip, like I thought that was too soon, or uh, was it just a thing to say after losing four or six? No, I, I, I don't, I don't know if it, it's any of that. I think that that's the that that's the standard. Uh, sure, that will change in some way, shape, or form if the Giants have some horrible June and they uh, got a tough schedule. Fine, yeah. Sure, but you know baseball. <laughs> I mean, you know, like I, I, yeah, if you're ten games out of the wild card come July twentieth, maybe it's a different story. Um, and they would probably because they've got so many guys who are always their contracts always coming up. They would have some guys that that, that people would covet, and and so sure that could change. But I think their expectation, knowing that there are still some players coming back, uh, Jock Peterson coming back, you know, is is Matos going to come up? I'm sure they feel Harrison can come Conforto's contribute. Conforto's heel and Woods yeah. on the IL. Well, yeah, I mean, no, the starting rotation's not as not as as good as they right. thought and you know had hoped it would be. But I don't know. That, that's just their that's that's obviously their philosophy. Their philosophy, and I, I I'm all in on it. And it's funny that you say, hey, it's baseball, so sometimes we don't Man. know. I'm here to say, no, no, no. That's all sports. We're in the midst of watching. The most, the most under-discussed underdog story in my lifetime in sports. And we're all acting like it's normal. The eight seed has home court advantage in the NBA Finals as well. What we if speak. I told you in the bubble they were in the NBA Finals? I'll Great. just leave that out there. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's how long ago. And, and with Three di- years. With different players, yeah. <laughs> all kinds of differences going on back then. Yeah. The Miami Heat, like, this is the way I put it. The We Believe Warriors are going to get a documentary. Oh, they, man. They made the second round. No, but. This team has a 1-1 tie and home court in the finals. So if you are any team, Giants, I think that this applies to the Warriors with everybody's, oh, the dynasty's done. If you're in the neighborhood, man, the year can turn your way real fast. You go for it. And I think that's their philosophy, and it should be. I don't know what their record's going to be in July, but man, in baseball, it's odd to me that this fan base needs to keep being reminded that you don't have to be the best team to win the whole thing. They never were. They had a dynasty without ever being the best team. And Stiney actually made a great point earlier, uh, a point that I've echoed many times about the devaluation of the regular season. It doesn't matter. Even in the NFL where it, it matters Uh-oh. more than the other two. Yeah. It doesn't matter as much as it used to. Exactly. You get 7 of 16, make the playoffs, and if you're in a bad division, you can go 8 and 9, 
and you get a home game. But what if you're in a good one? It doesn't matter, I agree with that. Don't you get it? What if you're in a good one? That's my Steiny. Sorry. Just really quick. (laughs) Not that one. If you're in a good one and you're 11 and six, then you're still going. But if you're in a bad one, you know, let's say that the Niners are in a bad one this year because the Rams aren't be. great. Might be. Arizona's quarterback, Calamari, yeah. oh, is not going to be as crispy and as tasty with the aioli yeah. as you would want. In Seattle, you telling me that Geno Smith is going to take them to 12-5? and five? So let's say that the NFC West is not that good. They can play around with Trey Lance. They can dabble in right, but the whole, okay. a little Sam yeah. Darnold. You, know you can go know, nine yeah, and eight and win the division. My point to Stiney was they could do that, but that's not that's not what they're aiming to do. If things don't right. go right, not. but the byproduct of that is, oh, we got uh, some leeway. But I just leeway. They're, not, they're not going out of camp like we can just mess around. I'm no, going by the way, no, but, but the buffer can urgency. the buffer can mm. grow as the season goes. Wow. On. But couldn't you look at that in a broader sense? Devaluation of the regular season mm. combined with that also means that more teams are still in the conversation longer. Right there, I think there are certain markets that might say, "Please keep devaluing the regular season so that we can have something to root for." You're pirates for years yeah. now. Like we get to June, the season's over. It's over. Yeah. What, what are we even doing here? So we just lolly through the one. summer. What, Not yeah, this year. It could be over. Not yeah. this year. But but so I don't know. I get what you're saying. It's devalued in terms of um, its importance overall. Right. It's, it, the 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 effect it has on the postseason, but maybe it keeps more teams involved. Maybe that's a good thing. I just, the NBA, I guess, I think each sport's different, but the NBA, to me, among, when you're talking about load management, you're talking about how long a season is. We always talk about, well, Christmas is the unofficial start. The seasons are so long. Right now, the NBA final standings are the least indicative of really where each team is. Be- I, I really do think that what's hmm. subtly happened is it's like it, the end, kind of like the NCAA tournament this year. You know, Miami gets in as an eight, and they've run the table like Butler. The Warriors, I mean, they were a six seed. Were they worse than the Kings? No, we knew Not they really. weren't worse than the Four Kings. Four games but, worse. But is that but this I mean, year? Is that this year where I, the the best team in the NBA had fifty seven? The whole Western Conference. The whole playoffs from top to bottom span from 53 to 44 wins. You can look I'm at last year, though. Last year, stuff. Phoenix was but they 64. Lost. That's the point. They lost. They went hard for 32 and yeah. 9 and 32 and 9, yeah. and then they got spanked <laughs> by Luka Doncic, who now might be dealt for but Kyrie not because Irving. Because they went hard, though, Dibs, trade? that was just a meltdown, right? It was I, a meltdown, but how so. did they win 64 games? They went hard in the regular season, well, or yeah, or just play. Right? Uh, yeah, they were, they, they were a good it. team. They were they were a good team, and yeah, they got. I don't I don't know what is with the DNA of that squad. Right? And they've got a late playoff game at home. They just well, I know what they think last year. I mean, we don't really give too much credence right. to it. I know that there, uh, that whole the whole team had COVID. That game right, seven performance right. against Dallas last year. You can say it's an excuse or not. I know you buying that wheel. No, no, no. I'm, uh, am I buying yeah, that it's th- true? Th- no, yeah. Or that it affected them? Th- I oh. think it's. I know that it's true. Well, I'm gonna say this. And I ain't being a jerk. I think that. Shout out Steve Martin. I think that was just lemon booty plus. They they had a meltdown. It's fair. And it started because they, you know, it's fair. It's fair, but you know, I don't think I, they were sick. Is the whole reason? Yeah, the the reason that they've never. Monty been, Williams is gone. Right. They've never been able to trumpet it because technically that's illegal. You shouldn't have been able to play at all. Correct. Right. Right? Like, they were, you, you all test positive for COVID, then you better go to your house. I just look at next year in the association, and if I'm X team, and I look at this year, and I look at last year where the Warriors were able to kind of coast through the regular season and make it all the way to the NBA Finals, I don't know why I would want to grind for 60 games, 60 wins, and home court. Well, It, it, does, it does you no good. It Well, but... Th- that feels a little bit like we're we're overvaluing right now. That's the way it's played out because of these heat. Let's not act like the teams with home court advantage don't actually have that. Like the Denver Nuggets, uh, until last night, have not <laughs> lost a home game yet. And and if that had kept up, they were automatically the NBA champ. Like they, right, that's an advantage. But that didn't keep up. Is the point, mm. and even the most well, home courtiest right. of they, all advantages. But they go get that right back. That's not abnormal. Yeah, what's, but what's abnormal? Man. What's abnormal is that the Heat keep going to the top teams in the East home 
late in series and beating them. That's abnormal. I don't think that that's now the norm. I, I still think it's abnormal. I think the notion of the top teams is kind of a misnomer well, because, you know, the top teams in any conference, and I, this is what I sent to our thread, do you guys miss the days of, like, two and three teams of, like, oh, my God, those teams are amazing because now it's just it's parody city. I, I just think the Miami Heat are such an anomaly. Like, to me, they are a college program. It's like, what are the, what seed – what seeds have they been? They were two, three years ago, and then they were six. This year they were eight. They were three. Like, they're just a team that, yeah, you got to give them a chance. They might win. Like, it, it almost feels like they're, yes, they're an eight seed, but they're like Miami. They're like, they're that team that's kind of there every year. I don't know, but this is they're somebody, knocking on the door. But it's different characters. It it's is not the but, same. But, I mean, but that's what I kind of mean about Butler, them being well. The program. same two lead characters, Pat Riley and Eric yeah. Spolstra. I, I, I kind of, that's why so I kind of think they're they like, really be a, a dark horse. Like, does it matter if Duke comes into a tournament one year and they're, you know, they're thirty-two and three or uh, they're only twenty-four and nine? It's like, well, you're still gonna have trouble beating Duke. I don't know how good they yeah, are. Not but, anymore. But yeah, but, North Carolina. Uh, no, I mean, John Shire. Yeah, this is a good program, <laughs> but I like. I don't know when we get to. The, I, I feel how old's Pat Riley? How old is he now? 107. We're giving a yeah. lot of credit to someone who's almost 80 and he's in a suite. Yeah, in terms but he's of in what, every game, Will. No, I, yeah, the leader the of the free world is 80, right. for oh, God's well, sakes. Well, oh, yeah. good God. Oh, hey. how to, got quiet in here. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Oh, Norman, don't die cheating. Right. Yeah. Well, wow. does he By know way, that? You gotta this is, I don't know that. Oh, this I is, miss that. This is a little, this is a little bit of a, of, of a right turn, but when you guys were talking about the NFC West, is – is this the oddest quarterback division? It, it, why do why why am I sold on Geno though? And I feel like he ain't getting enough. Maybe because you can't sell yourself on anybody with the other three teams. That's my point. Look at this division. You have a team that at, at the top of the division is supposedly one of the Super Bowl favorites. You've got another team that is only fourteen months removed. From winning a Super Bowl, question, I got Rams question. You Mark, were you yeah. you were a division last year that got two playoff teams. Like you are viable. Yet look at the quarterback situation. Murray hurt, <laughs> and, and 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 we signed him to a contract, and we don't even like him. We're putting and weird you're clauses including in the him. Niners on the Forty Niners have a, on John Forty Niners have a three headed monster, oh. and everyone's fighting, and it's June. Seattle has Gino, a, He just got they paid. Wrote, they wrote me off, and oh, I don't. Yeah, and, but they yeah. forgot to write back. And then the Rams are over here. The quietest, like, Matt Stafford might be gone and no one even talks about it because on the low key, I think they actually want to tank for Caleb Williams. That's your division. No. That's your division. Yeah. And somehow it's viable. <laughs> and even still, I don't think I'm starting a quarterback who doesn't deserve it. That's why we're going with Brock Purdy. All right, Willard and Dibs <laughs> coming wow. up next. On 95. You can, you can stay. In the bottle I got a meeting. Okay. All right. <laughs>